One of my suggestions when you walk to the streets of Napoli is going inside the Palazzi. Inside there is another world. Where we are is Palazzo Marigliano, a building that was uh, made in the 16th century and uh, was restored, as we can see, with the two beautiful staircase in the 18th century, in the Baroque time. In this uh, building used to live uh, Costanza di Chiaramonte, that was the wife of the king of uh, Naples, Ladislao di Durazzo, so the queen, and then Andrea. In this place, in the early 18th century, there was the conspiracy of Macchia, where the noble families of Naples, they wanted to destroy the Viceroy, the King Charles II of Spain, that was the last of the family Habsburg here on the throne of Naples. In Spaccanapoli, at this point of the city, in this crossroad, we can find the most important streets of the city, the streets of the artisans, so called the San Gregorio Meno, that is uh, following an ancient Roman road called Cardo. San Gregorio Meno, that is a connection with the Via dei Tribunali and Piazza San Gaetano, is famous for the small shops where the artisans are making and still selling for centuries the so called Presepe Napoletano. The nativity scenes. The uh, body of the pastore is made of straw around um, a iron or a metal um, small stripe, and then the head and the anatomical parts like feet or hands are made of clay. Some of the pastori can be made with the clothes made of silk, and some of them are really important pieces of art. In these architectural frames, you can find shops like the uh, Capuano Brothers that they are making this incredible preset. Buongiorno. Well, uh, each of uh, those pastori are talking about the history of the city of Naples. Always in the Neapolitan Presepe, you can find the Roman columns falling down, symbol of the end of the Roman Empire, but basically the symbol of the finish of the pagans and the starting of a new religion with the Christianity, with Jesus Christ. The Neapolitan Presepe is like a picture of the city of Naples of the 18th century, with the clothes and the buildings, the shops, Everything is a revival of Naples of a couple of centuries ago. Everything is handmade. San Gregorio Meno Streets is famous not just for the artisans, but for an incredible church called San Gregorio Meno. When in the 9th century the nuns they escaped from the Middle East and they reached the city of Naples, they brought with them the rest of the bodies of San Gregory, San Gregorio, where I uh, still preserved inside this amazing church. Today, it's one of the most beautiful examples of the Neapolitan Baroque. And inside, there is the holy relic of Santa Patrizia, the patron of the pregnant women of Naples. Santa Patrizia, like San Gennaro, uh, does the miracle of the liquefaction of her blood, but not three times in a year as a San Gennaro, but every week, every Thursday. Here is a glory of the Baroque, the altar, the vaulted ceilings, everything is telling us how great was the city in the past. The rest of St. Gregory is in the chapel. His score is still preserved and is an important relic for the city of Naples. The Chapel of Santa Patrizia It's along this street that you can find and buy souvenirs 
as Cornicello, as a tambourine with the scenes of Naples, or the figures of famous modern stars. In between the shops uh, where you can find the really handmade souvenirs for the city, we are still uh, nearby ancient courts, like this stone made of marble representing a very old goddess called Canephora. She's bringing a basket and she's telling us the great old and esoteric courts of Naples of the Greek and the Roman time. Near the church of San Gregorio Armenio, there is the famous convent of cloister nuns, or the poor nuns. This holy staircase, where we can see the great frescoes, we have uh, shoe wheels that they were used for the people who wanted to donate to the convent clothes or food. So they could leave them outside, moving them, and then uh, the nuns could uh, reuse uh, um, the objects and then you can see how high and strong was the charity mood of the city of Naples. After the 33 steps to get inside this amazing cloister, I want to bring you to a corner of a paradise. Bonjour. We are... <laughs> yes. <laughs> We are in the great cloister of San Gregorio Armeno. It's a joy for our sight and uh, coming here reading a book looks like to be in another time. The cloister was built in the 16th century and important architects and artists used to work here. Like the beautiful fountain made in the 18th century restored later with the sculptures of the real human sites are representing Jesus Christ and the Samaritan at the well. There are few, four beautiful horses with wings. The horse is the symbol of the city of Naples, where the water sometimes is still coming down. And the great dome with the maiolica tiles of the church of San Gregorio Armeno. In this place, we can still have oranges trees, different types of spices, incredible flowers used by the nuns for their special cakes. One of the traditions, it's not sure, that the typical spogliatelle in Naples was invented in this cloister long time ago, with a cinnamon, a spice that you could get, with the orange that they had in this garden, and with a sweet ricotta cheese that they could get from their goods. And then they made the famous spogliatella. Where uh, we can see now, it's something um, unique. That's the keys, the five keys of the water. That they were used to activate the water of the fountain where, from the different dolphins, the pipes will bring the water. There's still uh, the names, the water from uh, the snails, the water from the four horses. So to activate them, they could open or close from this main panel. Please. Walking underneath the porticos of the cloister, we can find the oldest chapel of the convent, the so-called Chapel of the Virgin Mary of Idria. The entire structure has been restored in the early 18th century from the Badessa, but in the vaulted ceilings and part of the main altar, we can still find the face of the Virgin Mary of Idria, so-called because near the feet there is a, a vessel with the water, that's why Idria. Today the altar is made with a marmi commessi, beautiful marbles made by local Neapolitan artisans, marmorari. In this clip uh, I could show you a really in the gem of my city. Remember that all of these places you can find with, uh, with some local guides 
why not with the Naples Grand Tour? But today, the kids of the quarter, they can come in a 16th century cloister to play the so-called Calcio Balilla. Have you ever played it? I'm not really good. I lost all the time. But this is still the proof that in Napoli, there's not just smartphone or PlayStation, but still old games like this. We are in the dining room of the nuns, where, uh, where we can still see the original seats made of wood and the beautiful frescoes of moltiplicazioni dei pani, so the multiplication of bread, and on the other side, paintings made by the school of Solimena and the fresco of the Cana weddings. Both Cana weddings and the bread they were made by the school of Belisario Correnzi. We are on the upper level of the church, where we could see the main nave before. This is part of the choir of the nuns, and the church is down there. If you could love this place, now you know what is our way to show you the secrets of Naples. Our journey is not finished. We are going to explore an underground area of Naples. Remember to follow me on my social channels and please comment down below. Stay tuned and see you to the next clip. Ciao!